Roy Barnes, a resident of Powell, Wyoming, is more fondly referred to as the Rocky Mountain Cowboy, a name he received while playing at the Old Valley Theater in downtown Powell. For a time before he went solo, Roy and his friends would play for movie intermissions, while a rope spinner, Floyd Heimer, did his tricks. Someone at the theater said, why don't you go by the name of Rocky Mountain Cowboy? Roy said, well, I don't mind. I've been called worse than that. That's been his name ever since. Roy learned to play his cowboy songs from records and the radio. He had a natural gift for music playing by ear and can whip up any old tune if he knows it. He soon began writing his own songs and then put them into music. He loved to present school programs and would tape programs at the radio station to send to boys overseas in World War II. The U.S. government sent out a request to radio stations to send in a taped back home program that would be played for the soldiers as a morale booster. Al Meyer, the KPOW station manager at the time, asked Roy to do the program. Roy began his long association with KPOW on April 1st, 1941, and has been heard over its airways for more than 50 years. The cowboy's interesting life has not only included his singing career, but he also drove a school bus for 36 years. He installed a microphone in the school bus as he often sang to his young charges. Roy is now 96 years old and still lives in Powell. He recently wrote that if the good Lord will let him and the devil don't get him, maybe he'll make it until 97. Well, Roy, here's our very best wishes, and thanks for filling the valley with music and song for over 50 years.